and I am going to start my day with this coffee with French vanilla it's really good guys <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading to one of the most magnificent cities in Canada and I am super excited because I always wanted to visit that city and its name is Saguenay and I am going to take you guys there so just follow me. And guys, we did not miss any chance to see those spectacular views on the road. Finally, we are in the room and let me just give you the quick tour of this. And it is almost same as 3.5 or 4 star kind of room. I thought it is going to be super fancy and a beautiful kind of room because it is 5 star hotel and it is the best hotel in Saguenay. But that is fine. Uh, we are happy with it. And the best part of this room is this. Sleepers. And I am loving them. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Are you super hungry or just hungry? Sanjay. Uh, we brought our own food so we have to heat that up and um, we have just called them to uh, get a microwave and let's see if they can uh, give one. So anyways, um, after that we are going to get fresh and we are going to take a nap. Today we are not planning to go anywhere. However, the receptionist uh, gave some information about the concert uh, that is somewhere in this area. 
that we might go it is around seven o'clock or eight o'clock in the night so we'll see after taking that so today we are eating chicken shami kebab with raita and naan we are having lassi so we brought our yogurt and made lassi it is going to help us to sleep well time to sleep we just woke up the time right now is 8:40 and we could not uh, wake up on the time the show time was 8 o'clock and we were supposed to reach there 10 to 15 minutes before the show and tickets are sold out already because the starting time was 8 o'clock so anyways now we are just going to wake up and and tomorrow we are going to visit this beautiful city sweet and light intense and clean kadi pen i'm gonna go with the golden one what you do plan our tomorrow's day there is a lot to visit but we are going to pick just a uh, few and this is the map that we got from hotel and receptionist gave us some ideas to visit some of the places which are most famous our stay in Zagne was only for two days so we decided to visit four main locations because area wise Zagne is one of the largest cities in Canada so it is just impossible to see whole city in a day or two so if you guys want to explore this huge city, then you will need at least 5 to 7 days. Good morning from Saigne guys. So we woke up, got fresh, and now we are heading to have breakfast. And after breakfast, we are gonna go to our first visiting spot. But for now, just follow me and let's have breakfast. So guys, there are actually chefs who are making breakfast, fresh breakfast, which is super cool service. And we are going to ask them to make us uh, omelet and there are some fruits and um, vessels now we are heading to our first visiting spot this place is called Santi Gushe there is beautiful scenery from the top so just follow me and guys uh, the distance is three kilometers um coming and going back going and coming back so right now we are going to do one of the best activities of Sagne that is hiking and this is my first time i'm going to do it so we are actually here and we are going to go at this point to see this side and the total distance is 1.5 kilometers so it is going to be three kilometers of the walk so basically we are going to climb that mountain our first scenery point so let me just show you Look at that, how steep is it? We have to go up there. And guys, it is getting steeper and steeper. So let's go. 
So guys, we are second scenery. Let me just get down and let me show you the view. And if you are scared of height, then this place is not for you because this is so scary. Finally, we made it. Look at that, how beautiful this view is. One fifty three meter high. We climbed this hill in uh, fifty minutes in total. Now we have to get down. So, yeah. And if you guys want to spend nice, peaceful and quiet time, I would recommend this place to you guys. So it was kind of good workout for today and I am happy about that. And uh, now we are going to go down and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm pretty much sure it's not going to take 15 minutes. back from the hill and it literally took 15 minutes because our next destination is um, picking blueberries so we are heading to that place and I'll see you there okay this place is called Parmajigi Bawa and it is the most famous cheese factory in Quebec and it makes the best cheese it is just few minutes drive outside of the town of La Bay you can purchase extremely fresh cheese from here and if you want, you can also see the manufacturing process of the cheese being made. Guys, now we are going to pick blueberries from this farm. And we are going to pick our stuff. And I am super excited for this activity because I've never done this before. So let's just go.
avoir les 25 parce oui. que c'est le panier. OK? OK. Bye, mes petits, mes And I'm going to eat some fresh blueberries after washing them. So good, guys. Come on. Guys, these blueberries are super fresh. I've never eaten such fresh blueberries in my life. So good. Now it's time to go to the next visiting spot and what is that? That I will tell you later. What are you drinking Sanjay? Lassi. And that's my lassi. Chilled salted lassi in summertime. What else do you want? That's so good guys. We are at our next and final stop of the day which is La Petite Maison Blanche. This place was also one of the must visits for us in Shikutimi because it was just few minutes of the drive from our hotel and it is a memorial of a disastrous flood of 1996 in which many houses were washed away. The water went right through but this little white house stood unharmed and it became the symbol of surviving the flood. You can also visit the museum which is inside of the house and the price of entry is $6. The surrounding views of this house were also fabulous. They were so green and so pretty. Also, the cathedral close by was magnificent. We are back in room and guys, the best part of the hotel is room service. So you don't have to organize or clean anything. So anyways, now we are going to change and we are not going to eat because we already ate Tim Horton. Time to check out. Our final visiting stop of the trip was whale watching in St. Lawrence Marine Park which is in Tadusik and it is at the drive of one and a half hour from Shikutmi. Let me just show you the beautiful view. And of course, we did not miss any scenery point throughout the way to Tadusik. do the justice with the view and with the city. I can now show you the beauty of this city by camera. Trust me. This is kind of unforgettable experience of your life. We planned to take 3 hour cruise to watch the whales but unfortunately the weather was not in our favor as soon as we reached Tadusik we figured that it is so foggy and I guess the chances of seeing whales in this weather are quite low. So we dropped our cruise trip plan and we decided to take ferry instead which is 10 minutes of ride so that we can cross the river in order to go home and also you never know we might get opportunity to see the whales. And did I tell you that this ferry service is free of cost? Okay guys, we are at the cruise 
and now we are waiting to see the whales and I hope we get lucky to see them. Okay guys, so that was our last destination to visit in Saguenay and now we are heading home and that was pretty much it for today's vlog and if you guys like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys. Till then, you take care and I'll see you again. So that was our last destination to visit in Montreal, sorry, in Saguenay. Saguenay. This is one of the best activities in Saguenay that is hiking and guys I'm going to do it. Oops. <laughs>